Australia developed the EWP, AD Electric Water Pump, in 1999. The idea behind the EWP, AD, was to develop a far more efficient cooling system, water cooling system, for, for the motor car as opposed to the Iron Age old mechanical water pump. The development of the EWP, AD was done in conjunction with the CSIRO. After a number of uh, prototypes were developed, we finally settled on 80 litres. The reason that we settled on an 80 litre pump, the 80 litres are the optimum amount of coolant required, capacity of coolant required to flow through an engine. From the EWP 80, we then developed the EWP 115, which is the latest model that we now have on the market. 115 litre pump is, is more desirable for engines above 3 litre, up to 5.5, 6 litre engines. This particular pump again was developed with the work and help of the CSIRO. With the CSIRO, Davies Craig developed the EWP 115 electric water pump. The unique design of the volume chamber and also the impeller are the unique features of this particular pump and it's, it can be utilised and used on engines up to 6 litres in capacity. Following on from the development of the 66 nylon glass electric water pump, we then developed the balloon or aluminium pump for hot rods and drag racing fraternity. This pump has the unique feature of having a dash 16 fitting internal thread which is ideal for those, those particular applications and can also be highly polished and cracked if necessary. Davies Craig is developing an, an electric water pump adapter kit for the small block, big block Chevy, small block, big block Fords and also the small block, big block Chryslers. What this enables, this enables us to take the old mechanical water pump from the existing engine and put adapters onto the two inlets of the left and right end, in, in, left and right inlets of the engine. and the electric water pump fitted to the bottom radiator hose. This replaces the mechanical water pump which weighs about 15 pounds or 7 kilos. The water pump goes on the bottom of the on the bottom radiator hose, fits the bottom radiator hose and then fits under the under the side of the block. In this simulated demonstration you'll see the temperature is simulated at the moment to be at 75 degrees. At this point, the digital controller will be controlling the coolant through the engine, pulse width modulating the water at 10 seconds on and 30 seconds off. Now, if we simulate the increasing the temperature, which we'll do by using this potentiometer, we'll turn the temperature up through the five different temperature settings, 75 degrees, 80 degrees, 85 degrees and 95 degrees. And at that point, the electric water pump will be running at full capacity. It's 115 litres a minute. We're now up to 85 degrees. We turn it over from 85 degrees, three degrees over the targeted temperature, the electric fan will come on. And that will be indicated, that's indicated by the light on the digital controller. Now obviously with ram air coming through the radiator, we'll simulate the engine cooling and that will then turn itself down and go back into a conventional cycle, at which time the water pump, the water pump will slow down and then go into a normal pulse width modulation, 10 seconds on, 30 seconds off, as being demonstrated here.